Olympus TG6 Review The Olympus Duff TG6 is the company's sixth-generation premium underwater camera. It features a 12-megapixel sensor, 4x optical zoom lens, numerous sensors, and, of course, serious protection against the elements. For those in the first group, the TG6's auto mode can handle just about every situation, and its numerous scene modes are well-organized, going underwater. Just choose the fish spot on the mode dial where you'll find five choices that match the situation you're in. It is a shame that Olympus did not create a simplified version of its menu system for more novice users, who are likely to be overwhelmed by the options and organization. For the enthusiast, the TG6 offers some manual controls, but not the full suite you'd expect on a higher-end camera. While you can adjust the aperture, there are only three choices at any one time. This is also why there aren't shutter priority or manual exposure modes on the camera. It's worth mentioning that you cannot adjust exposure compensation in auto mode, so you'll need to switch to program or aperture priority mode to do so. Hikers and other adventurers can take advantage of the camera sensors and tracking abilities so they can see exactly where they were on their journey when they took a photo. The environmental sensors include a GPS, altimeter, or depth gauge, compass, accelerometer, and thermometer. When you're out and about, pressing the info button displays all of the data the camera is capturing. Lastly, the TG6's host of close-up features not only allow for capturing subjects, one come away, the digital microscope mode lets you zoom in up to four times more, though with a reduction in image quality. Olympus sells a ring light and flash diffuser to add flexibility to your macro photography. These days, Updates to compact cameras are very minor, and that includes the TG6. Very little has changed compared to the TG5, with the main things being a higher resolution LCD, additional macro, and underwater modes, and focus bracketing. Improvements have also been made to reduce ghosting and flare. The higher resolution LCD is certainly nice, though Olympus did not address the most frustrating thing about the screen on the TG5. It scratches way too easily. Buying a screen protector is highly recommended. It's worth mentioning that the screen isn't touch-enabled. But keep in mind this feature is all but useless when screens get wet. Where the TG5 only had one underwater white balance mode, the TG6 has three for shallow, mid-depth, and deep water. Two additional underwater shooting modes were added, macro and microscope. What really separates the TG6 from its peers is its ability to capture data from its environmental sensors and attach it to photos, as described earlier in this review. Some of the rugged cameras have some sensors, but nobody does it better than Olympus. Having GPS data in your photos lets you search for photos by location in software-like Lightroom and Apple Photos. Having the tracking feature on does drain the battery, which is why I kept the camera plugged into a car charger while driving around. The TG6 is a bit of an outlier in that Olympus continues to use a 12 megapixel sensor, rather than the 16 or 20 megapixel sensors found on its competitors. On a chip this small, the TG6's lower pixel count might help its performance at higher ISOS. But the much bigger benefit is its lens ability to go to f2.0 at its widest angle setting, letting in twice as much light as its closest rivals will. And, for most purposes, a 12-megapixel sensor is more than enough. The build quality of the TG6 is still the best in class. Its chassis is solid enough that you'd think it could chop wood, though it would probably void the warranty. Both of the doors have dual locks, a feature which has disappeared from its competitors. The camera's dials are pretty plasticky, though, and the buttons are mushy. But this is likely due to the extensive ceiling. While the TG6's rugged specs are very impressive, when it comes to going underwater, several of its peers can go quite a bit deeper with the Nikon Coolpix W300. If you're a snorkeler, that's no big deal, but for scuba, it's a very desirable trait. While the lens on the camera doesn't have as much telephoto power as many of its peers, it is the widest available, which is really helpful when underwater. The lens is also the fastest in this class, which will keep noise levels down as light levels drop. The Olympus Duff TG 6 continues to be the top waterproof camera on the market. We like its ruggedness, expandability, tracking features, and raw support. Its lens is faster at the wide angle end than its peers, and its macro capabilities are top-notch. Battery life is very good, assuming that you are not hitting the GPS too hard. 